Good evening, Manpreet. Good evening, Shiva. Kindly unmute yourself. Is my voice is audible and screen is visible? We're going to start the session very soon. Just stay there, stay connected. Let's other to join the session as well. Uh, kindly unmute yourself. आपने अपना mic on नहीं किया मनप्रीत and uh, Shiva. Okay, Shiva, uh, unmute yourself. आपका माइक ऑन नहीं है फोन के नीचे लेफ्ट साइड पे देर इज ए माइक बटन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन देयर एंड योर माइक विल बी एक्टिवेटेड वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सेशन वेरी सुन गाइस जस्ट स्टे देयर लेट सदर टू कनेक्ट एज वेल थैंक यू मनप्रीत इज माय वॉइस इज ऑडिबल Hi Manpreet. Uh, hello Preeti. Is my voice is audible and yes. screen is Absolutely. visible? Absolutely, you are audible and we can see the screen as well. Preeti, yeah. Thank you so much. We're going to start the session very soon. Uh, let's other to connect sure, as sure. well. Stay sure. there. Thank you. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. Is my voice is audible and screen is visible? Ashok, Balvi. Yes, it is audible and we can see that. Thank you so much. We're going yes, to start. Yes, visible. Thank you, sir. We're going to start the session very soon. Just stay connected. Let others to join as well. Within two minutes, we're going to join the uh, start the session. Thank you. All right. Uh, first of all, I would welcome all of you to Win Your English. Myself, Lovepreet Verma. I'm the founder of Win Your English. We're going to start the session now. Today, we will cover writing task two and speaking. Tomorrow, we will cover listening and speaking. So now, um, I will start the session. I would request all of you, if you would have any question in between of the class, you can ask me any time. I want this class to be very interactive. So first I will in 10, 15 minutes, I will cover the things, how we will proceed, what things you're going to get from our side and what are our uniqueness, our qualities. We are the first institute in India with PhD English experts and IDP certified trainers. Normally, normal centers, they hire trainers like five, six, seven bands, but we hire only those trainers who have achieved great success in IELTS industry, having great experience plus credentials as well. Our all trainers will have these kind of extraordinary credentials, IDP certified, other authority certifications, PhD English trainer, MPhil English trainers. Um, we will provide you 40 plus hour of live training. That means every day there will be a class approximately one and a half hour and we will cover two module in the class and two module we will provide a, as an assignment 60 plus updated recordings 60 plus updated recordings means we will provide you a separate application just like youtube we have built an application of our own brand and every day's class is going to be recorded into your own account. That means if you're going to attend today's session, you can review this session in, in your mobile, in your application tomorrow. Also, you will be able to see the previous recordings. There might be approximate 70 to 80 videos over there. You can review previous sessions as well. If you are a student of academic, you will be able to see academic videos. If you would be a student of journal, you will be able to see the journal videos. 160 practice tests we will provide you. Apart from the classroom training, we will provide you a separate account. We will give you username and password. With that account, you can log in anytime in that account. You can practice reading, listening, writing over there. And every material, the entire material will be based on IELTS only. It has been seen that many companies or many centers, they just uh, waste 10 to 15 days of the student on grammar, on, you know, callocation, subject verb agreement. We don't do, like, do that. From the very first day, you will experience the IELTS material with us, IELTS coaching with us. Your mistakes or grammatical mistakes will surely be eradicated by our experts, but we will not waste your time at all. We will provide you one another dedicated mobile app if you will not have laptop. If you don't have laptop, still you will be able to manage entire material on your mobile application. Our mobile application you can find into your Play Store as well. 30 plus hours of assignment. Every day you're going to get assignments. Five full length mock test. That means we will provide you five full, mock, full length mock test every mock test it takes three hours to complete 
to finish. It would be similar to as uh, real IELTS exam. So every Saturday we do one full mock test. These mock tests will be your uh, will be in your account as well. I'm going to show that in further slides. This is the application, the second application for video recordings we're going to provide you. You can go to our website that is www.vineyardenglish.com. You can download this app. Instructions will be there. Once you will enroll, the license key will be issued by us, by our IT team, and you can see your all recordings. Guys, is everything understandable? Any trouble? Any voice trouble? Yeah, no issue, not an issue. Okay. okay, thank you so much. So those who just just joined, we guys, we just started. So don't worry if you miss anything. These are the some features which we're going to provide you. I will explain these features at the end of the class as well. Those who just joined, don't worry about it. So this is the account. This is an account which we will provide you after your enrollment. This is a practice account. I'll show you lively. Is this is visible to all of you? It says Rexoni Kulsi here. Dashboard, online test. Guys, kindly respond me. Yeah, it's visible. Okay. All right. So this is an account which we will provide you for three months. Whether you're going to register for one month or two months, we're going to provide you this practice account for three months. Here, our logo will be there. You can see mock test over here. Academic mock test, general mock test will be there. And you can see journal readings. If you're a student of journal, you will see journal readings over there. Every section, there will be five section. Every section further will have five readings in it. 40 questions, 60 minutes. That means five section here, five into five, 25 journal readings would be here. Similarly, if you go into the listening section, every section further contains five listenings, 40 questions, 45 minutes. So these, the entire material going to be resemble the real IELTS exam. Writing section, further five section will be there. Every section will have five further writing sections. So two question writing task one and two would be there. You have to finish it in 60 minutes. So here you will find 10 into five, 50 uh, writing task over here. Similarly, if you click on academic, you will find the academic reading, listening and academic writings over there. If you're a student of academic, still you will be able to attempt journal training uh, material as well and vice versa. And the entire, uh, as I said, the entire material will be based on IELTS only. That would be uh, out of the IELTS material. So you will experience the IELTS. Here you can go into the challenge zone. Here you can enhance your grammatical skills. You can play challenge with other students on these subjects. So you can also assess your performance. Uh, once you will attempt any reading, listening, writing over there, the answers will pop up automatically and you can do self analysis over there. You can see your own analysis over there. Coming back to the presentation. So this account is clear to all of you? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. All right. So now this is the structure of our class. After the enrollment first mock test that going to be on Saturday, upcoming Saturday, it would be your diagnostic mock test. As doctor diagnoses or her patients, we diagnose our students. Once you will attempt it, our experts will check your level, where you stand right now and what you want to achieve. So we'll make your journey accordingly. Every class will start with tips and trainings. Five, 10 minutes tips will be there. What type of questions will be there? How to tackle these questions, do's and don'ts. After that, the content will be delivered by the trainer and every class will be ended at an assignment for sure. So you're going to be allotted a WhatsApp group. In that WhatsApp group, your trainer will be there. And 
let's suppose you get a writing task two assignment. Your trainer will post the writing task two assignment in your group. You're going to write it down on your notepad. If you're going to attempt for the paper based exam, if you're going to attempt for the computer based exam, then you can write it down in the MS Word or in our resource account. So you just need to attempt it on your notepad. You just need to click a clear picture and share it in the group. That's it. Your duty would be done. Our expert will review your assignment. He or she will mark your assignment as per IDP and BC standards and provide you the feedback in the same WhatsApp group. Our WhatsApp group are very focused. We do not entertain any non-serious, uh, sincere students. We entertain only sincere students, so there will be no nuisance in the group. We don't entertain those students who just join for the fun's sake. So this is the journey from first week till the fourth week. Monday, we do listening. It would be uh, same listening that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam. So this is the pattern for both academic and journal. We, bought, we have separate groups for these, uh, you know, both domains. So on Monday, we do listening plus speaking in the live class. Reading and listening assignment will be given to you. Tuesday, you can also take the screenshot, any one of you, if you would like to take, you can take the screenshot of this schedule. Tuesday, we do writing task two in detail. In detail means we will not just ask you to uh, write down on the question we will provide. Our trainer will let you know how to write down introduction, how to write down body paragraph, how to write down conclusion. Brainstorming section section will be there that we're going to practice today as well in upcoming slides. So we will work on your imagination pattern. We will work on your psychological pattern. We help you. We will help you to generate content. After that, the formal speaking section will be there. Speaking will be one to one and uh, in the group, but there will be one person talk to the speaker only and the instructor only. I mean, there will not be like group discussion at all. Writing task two and reading will be given as an assignment. On Wednesday, writing task one will be discussed in detail. Speaking will be there. Writing task one and listening will be assignment. So, jo red may hai, these will be the assignment task. Thursday, reading, speaking, reading, writing assignment. Friday, listening, speaking, reading, listening assignment. Saturday, there will be a mock test which would cover four modules and we will assess your level every Saturday. We'll come to know where you are going, your performance going. And after that, once we feel like you are able to achieve your level, we will suggest you now book an exam. Sunday, we share blogs, study material, videos, tips, etc. in your WhatsApp group. So this is the weekly schedule. Now we're going to discuss the essentials of writing task two. Up till this point, any question, guys? If you have any question, I can answer. Anu, Arihant, Ashok, Balveer, Manpreet, Shiva, Kanish, Garg, Preeti. And there is one person who's uh, from ID. May I know the name, please? Kyaucom BTD phone. Kindly rename your ID or give me your name. I can change your name. The person, can you please unmute yourself? The one person without the name in the group. I think it's me, sir. I'm Renu. Renu, Renu Sharma. Right. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'm going to edit your name here. So I will identify you. Thank you so much. Any question, guys, till this point? If not, then we will proceed. I guess no question, right? Yes. Okay. yes. okay. Thank you so much for the confirmation. I will proceed now. So guys, basically we have expertise in A777 in general and 7 plus in academic. Are all trainer having PhDs and you know having great English backgrounds? So our focus is that you will achieve your desired band. So we research on continuous basis. What are the essential requirements? We are all trainers attend IDP and BC uh, seminars. 
So we came up with some unique things, which I'm going to discuss you in writing task two. So basically the band score of writing task two is going to be assessed on the four pillars, four parameters. All these four parameters will have equal marks from zero to nine task achievement and response having zero to nine score and all like coherence, cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. These all have zero to nine score. If let's suppose you get a seven band in task achievement and response, six in coherence, cohesion, nine in lexical resource and seven in grammatical range and accuracy. The every score of four will be your writing task two score. Now, what is task achievement and response? Basically task achievement and response, how are you going to respond the task or what percentage of the question you're going to achieve, whether you're going to cover all the elements of the question, whether you link proper ideas, whether you explain your things properly or not. For an example, introduction alone has three parts, background information or journal comment, plus paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement. If you miss any of these statement, any of the essential factor, you will not get the full marks of task achievement and response. Similarly, coherence and cohesion implies the perfect linkage between lines as well as paragraph. An ideal writing task two must be, should be linked from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion. It must have a chronological order of ideas or sequence of ideas or connectivity of ideas must be shown in the passage in order to get bands of coherence and cohesion. Linkage should be there. Lexical resource means what type of vocabulary we're going to use. It should be relevant. It has been seen that many students just use the high vocabulary word even they don't even they don't know the word, the meaning of the exact meaning of the word, which ultimately alter the entire meaning of the passage or the sentence and which lead further lead to low bands. They end up with five or 5.5 band. We don't, we will not use any word that we are not sure of. Grammatical range and accuracy implies what type of sentences you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, complex compound sentence, or what type of uh, uh, lines you're going to write down, whether it's in passive voice, active voice, and uh, it should be accurate as well. The grammatical accuracy and the word accuracy is very, very important. Structure should be solid. So these are the four pillars. Any of these types uh, of essay would come in the real exam opinionating essay where the examiner will ask your opinion advantage disadvantages essays discussion essays where the examiner would ask you to discuss both points sometime the question may come discuss both points and give your own opinion in that case you need to write down three paragraph one discussion in one paragraph second in second and in third paragraph you need to cite your own opinion and then there is a small conclusion Solution essay would be there where the examiner will ask you the solutions of the specific problems. Direct essay questions will be there. Sometimes one question would consist two further questions. So you need to address all these uh, fragments separately. So every type of essay having different kind of treatment. We teach all our students on uh, we teach all these kind of essays during our classes to our students so that they will be able to manage such essays in the real IELTS exam. So guys, this is the higher band structure which we follow in our classes, which we teach to our students. This is the nine band structure. If you follow this structure, you will definitely get more than seven bands. Introduction, as I said, alone having three sections, background information or journal comment. What is background information? Background information is just like when you talk something about the topic in the past, like in yesteryears or in previous years, people used to wear simple clothes, but due to the advent of modernization and globalization, masses tend to wear sophisticated clothes. That means purane samay mein log simple kapde pehante the, but due to the advent, advent hota hai kisi cheez ka agman, aana kisi cheez ka. Advent of globalization and modernization masses 
now we don't use the same word again and again redundancy redundancy or repetition should be avoided we will not use people people we will use the synonym that is masses masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing this is background information now in some topics if we don't find out the background information we can write down the journal comment now these people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to globalization or modernization and modernization so this is kind of a journal comment plus paraphrase the topic paraphrase the topic paraphrasing means you need to convert the question into your own words into your own words you cannot write down the exact question into the introduction that's going to put a negative impact on the bands so some people believe that others are against so such kind of wordings can be paraphrased in the introduction after that you need to write down the thesis statement thesis statement is basically a great indicator to the reader that what he or she is going to write down in the body paragraph this is going to link the introduction with the body paragraph as well as i said coherence and cohesion must be there thesis statement is just like that i am going to discuss this topic in subsequent paragraph or in further paragraph so basically this line going to indicate the reader that he or she is going to describe about this topic in upcoming paragraph now in body paragraph it has been seen that students just add on points keep on adding points in one paragraph in second paragraph so student add 10 to 15 point in two to three paragraph they end up with five bands then they complain the idp system or bc testing system that they have faulty system i have i have a, i had added many points still i got five bands guys they have perfect evaluation system we just need to know the demand of their system evaluation system they don't want us to write down so many points we just need one point elaborate it well support it with example that's it your one paragraph is going to be ready we don't need two three four points we just need two to three point to write down the entire writing task too the more you will keep it simple the more you will fetch bands the more it will fetch bands i will show this with the live example in upcoming slides conclusion in conclusion you need to write down the gist crux of the paragraph or you just like nichod in hindi we can say and you can also rephrase your opinion in the conclusion you can also add some hope suggestion threat or danger as well but make sure you should not add any new point in the conclusion that's going to be very risky entire passage writing task 2 should not be less than 250 words not even 249 words it not it should not exceed more than 300 words ideal it should be between 260 to 280 that's a safer range now we going to do a small activity brainstorm activity which we do in our classes guys i would request all of you don't leave the class because some people just shy to express their thoughts if you don't want to speak just stay there and observe it if you would speak up i would appreciate you but just stay there in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone now nowadays than in the past in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone akela rehna pasand kar rahe hain ya ye trend trend bad raha hai nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development this is the question which came into the real ielts exam and we will uh, discuss this question today using this methodology this structure so that you will get higher bands if once you will implement it so guys contribute i would like you to tell me the points what are the advantages of living alone now it's your turn kanish garg anu arihant ashok balveer yeah uh, the very first is like uh, you can enjoy the freedom very good if we talk about the positive point you can enjoy the freedom and it's like okay 
uh, you can do whatever you want to do. You do not have any restrictions of the families. Very good. So there would be no restriction or no foundation. Uh, yeah, abs absolute freedom would be there. Right. Second point. So those who believe in um, prioritizing their privacy, they really like to stay alone. And um, probably this is the only reason that they want to stay alone. Mm -hmm. That they don't want anyone to barge in the privacy of. Yeah, privacy concern. So yeah, yeah none of the person would uh, infringe the privacy thing. So one can enjoy the absolute privacy. Very good point. Privacy will be there. Next point. Those who want to prove uh, that um, they, you know, when someone wants to be independent mm -hmm. and uh, someone wants to put it in uh, okay. before somebody that, yes, I can be independent. If someone wants to prove this point to somebody or to the family, okay, that is also the reason why uh, he may move out so, to be one will become more confident you can say more exposure yeah. to the person and uh, confidence will be boosted or one will inculcate new skills once a person is living alone imagine i mean millions of students migrating canada australia or other european countries and they have to i mean they live alone right over there and eventually they inculcated they develop new skills like cleaning of house cooking how to manage finance, uh, buying grocery, too many new skills they're going to develop. So if a person is living alone, he or she will able to manage things. Right. Next point. Just imagine yourself, if you're living alone, what type of advantages you will face or what type of things you will have or skills you're going to develop yourself. Just imagine yourself. Put it's your... like you can uh, you can enjoy your money, you can enjoy your time, right? You you need not to you know bother about your family or uh, the money you have to spend on your family or on your child. Mm -hmm. So uh, you you are the owner and uh, you you have the freedom to spend the money according to you. So less responsibilities will be there, more time will be there no person none of the person would be there to interrupt you or disturb you you can pursue your own hobby or interest you can develop your new hobby like singing dancing or uh, gardening like that you learn to value your family also when you live alone very good point one would learn the value of learn the value of family All right. Good point, ma'am. Any other person having another view? Balveer, Shiva, Arihant Sharma, kindly unmute yourself. Contribute, please. Kanish Garg. Advantages of living alone. Okay. Let's discuss the disadvantages of living alone. Now you guys must have enough points, I believe. All right, guys. Let me know disadvantages of living alone. If you have answer in your mind, speak up in Hindi or Punjabi, I will not mind. If, you, if anyone is facing difficulty in converting the question into English, don't bother, don't shy, don't be shy. I will help you out to convert it. All right. Uh, anu ma'am, what are the dis disadvantages of living alone? Sir, I think um, when uh, you have to take major decisions, you feel um, at times you feel at loss. You don't know what to do. When you have to uh, take major decisions and when you're alone, when you're not with okay. the family, this like is one of the... No psychological help or, or help or no guidance exactly. would be there, you can say? Exactly, yeah. No guidance will be there? No emotional, uh, physical, financial support you can find around. Yeah. 
great point lack of support mental physical or other financial support so one has to bear all the expenses alone as person is living alone he has to pay rent expenses of the other commodities as well one has to bear all the expenses alone okay another point ashok very important point as students you know migrating from india to abroad they living alone what the major thing they i mean feel what the major drawback they feel over there the feel loneliness very good homesickness yeah and moreover there is no check on a person like mm -hmm. uh... yes so loneliness they feel homesickness or loneliness over there no one will be there and they end up with uh, you know bad company some people some fall in depression some fall in drug and crimes as well right any other point anyone having any new point after that we'll discuss the writing task too okay all right now i will proceed if anyone all right so guys this is the nine band structure which i'm going to discuss now we will discuss the writing task too using the same structure we just discussed thank you so much for contributing those who contributed so why i in incorporated this activity we do this activity in our classes wherever we find in writing task 2 in writing task 1 and in other task as well we do different activities so that we we involve our students into the activity so they can learn with the help of these activities you will learn so many new points and eventually you will create content in the mind so once you will be in the real exam there will be plenty of stuff to write right otherwise if you just do practice 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 you don't do brainstorming in the real exam you find that you you don't have enough content or you run out of content over there so this is the very common problem which we are working in the classes in our classes so that our student won't run off the content in the real ielts exam now we going to discuss this discuss it in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development introduction these days many people choose to live alone especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is far higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there so from here till here we basically write it down the journal comment and the paraphrasing together in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone these days many people choose to live alone so as i said earlier we need to make sure have three points uh sunita says uh my voice is not audible sunita is uh guys is everyone is fine with my voice is it audible you are audible sir yes thank you so much uh sunita ma'am kindly log off and log in again might be there is a system error at your place or network error let me write it down all right so basically as i said three things must be ensured in the introduction background information or general comment plus paraphrase the statement and this is statement so from here till here we write down the general comment and paraphrase together now in the question the examiner asked do you think this is a positive or negative development so here we have three ways we can write down positive positive about it we can write down negative negative about it or we can balance the statement we can say that it has more positive consequences than the a few or few negative consequences 
I believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative uh, outcomes it offers. So here we also answered the question and here examiner is going to make sure like what we're going to write it down. Let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion. So this is going, this is going to be the thesis line. So here examiner will get an idea what we are going to do in further paragraphs. In body paragraph one, as I said, one point, elaborate it well, cite an example. That's, that's it we need to do. So we write it down a single point here. A single person family, instead of writing a one person, uh, writing a family, one person living alone, we can say single person family, is seen to be positive from better personal skill development and economical perspective. Kaise hai, kyun hai, how? that we're going to answer from here till here. That is the explanation. Ki ye kyun hai? Humne agar kisi cheez ko describe kar diya ki ye positive hai. Fir kyun hai? Kaise hai? Us cheez ko bhi hume describe karna padega. Agar nahi karenge, direct koi or point shiru kar denge. Then we going to against the checking system of IDP and BC. Now we're going to explain jo humne bola wo kyun hai. Examiner ko bhi hai ki this is a right point, but we need to explain it in the task. A single member, member family. So here we use single member family. Synonym. We need to use synonym. Forces a person to learn some basic skills, including cooking, cleaning the house, paying the utility bills, managing personal finance, purchasing daily commodities, adopting hobbies, and many more important skills. This makes someone self-dependent, which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense. So we have explained our point well here. Kya kya fayde honge se ho sakte or what one has to do. Self-dependent jab banda hoga, I mean one will become a self-dependent. He or she will pay taxes, which ultimately uh, fruitful for the country's economy. Now, just to support our explanation and main idea, we need to write down the example as well. An example must be supporting your main idea. For instance, research shows that students who stay away from home for their tertiary degrees learn more skills and become more self-dependent than people who study from home. So it vividly indicates that we are reinforcing our idea. We are supporting our view, what we write it down here. So here we use people instead of student, student again, we used cinema. Additionally, a single person family member is bound to do job, business, or have some sort of arrangements for a steady earning. And this trend has a great positive impact on country's economy. So here we also clarified the economical perspective as well. So this is the way in which we need to elaborate, we need to write down one point, elaborate it well, cite an example, that's it. Your paragraph is ready. Now, this is the second paragraph. As we balance the statement in the introduction, we going to mention the other side as well. So see, if you will discuss both sides, you will have plenty of material. This is the advantage actually. From the opposite viewpoint, the trend of increasing single person family has a few negative consequences as well. Iske thode se negative bhi hai. The increasing, kaise hai, kyun hai, now we're going to discuss. The increasing trend of living alone has a direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days. Jo psychological problems are rahi hai, that is because they're living alone. Living alone creates loneliness and depression. Unlike the traditional family settings where there are always others to share someone's distress and sadness. The isolation often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative. So here we elaborated that why this single person family setting has a few negative consequences. So this is the explanation from here till here. Now, for example, a recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because nobody will be there to stop them. 
and then they get into the bad habits. The human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency. For many, bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved in crimes. So this is the thing which, which we did. We explained one point that is in green. We elaborated the point. Then we cite an example. So example must be supporting to the main idea. Some people might be thinking what type of example we need to write down, whether we need to read magazine, newspaper to cite an example over here. No, examiner is not going to check whether it is factual or not. It should not. I mean, it's not must that you're going to you need to write down a fact over here. You can fabricate your own example. You can make your own example, but it should be supporting to the main idea. Now, in the conclusion, we need to add the gist of the essay, crux of the essay. We can also rephrase our and rephrase the point, rephrase our opinion. We can add danger, hope, suggestion. To encapsulate, now the first line of the conclusion is also a great indicator to the reader or to the examiner that he or she is now going to sum up the entire argument, debate or passage. To encapsulate, to sum up, uh, at the end, these kind of words can be used. The number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era and this has Omnifarious. Omnifarious is a synonym of various. This has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences. So here we rephrased our opinion. What we write it down in the introduction, we rephrased with another words. Hence, one can imbibe, imbibe to embrace, to get. Multifarious. Multifarious is the synonym of omnifarious that is again various or numerous. One can get numerous cardinal important skills of life if he or she choose to live alone. So guys, this is the simplest structure which we follow. And if you follow this structure, you will definitely get more than seven bands. This is a clarity. When the examiner will read, he or she will understand that you have complete understanding of writing skills. Any question guys, now I am open to the questions. If you guys have any kind of question, I would love to answer. Kanish, Anu, Arihant, Ashok, Balveer, Shiva, Sunita. After this, we will start the speaking module. Any question guys? Should I start with speaking practice? This is your class guys. You avail two day class and this is for you. We specially organize it for you. If you have any question, you can ask freely. All right. Ashok said no question. Anu ma'am, do you have any question? Thank you so much Anu ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. It was really wonderful uh, listening to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate your words. I'm just trying my best. All right. Now we're going to uh, discuss the writing task. Uh, sorry, the speaking task. How much time it would take and what are the sections will be there. Basically, the speaking test will have, uh, uh, it would be between 11 till 14 minutes. There will be three sections. First section would be of general questions. All the questions would be of generic in nature. Examiner will ask you general questions like tell me something about yourself and uh, describe your hometown, describe your family, tell me something about your previous studies, just like that. Second section would be of cue card section in which you will be given a cue card just like this and you will be given one minute to prepare for it and there will be two minutes you need to talk minimum. So what is the technique behind how you can prepare in just one minute and how you can perform more than two minutes in examination conditions. So it has been seen that student 
you know, gets palpated over there. They get confused, nervous over there uh, because of shortage of time. So basically, you need to use the power of imagination. As we work on the psychological pattern of the student, we do brainstorming. We also enhance their imagination pattern. What is imagination? How we can do that? I will explain it. For an example, if examiner will ask you to describe your town or city, and if you living in a small town, there would be a few things to describe about your town. But if you use the power of imagination, you can describe Toronto, Michigan, Melbourne, and just name your town. Examiner is not going to check the authenticity of the facts. He or she is not going to check whether you are saying that is correct, existing or not. He or she is going to check whether you're going to pitch the question, whether you're going to use the relevant content, your sentence structure is right, your vocabulary is right, your fluency is correct in a flow or not. So these things going to be assessed basically. For an example, if examiner would ask you or like for an example, if he would ask me to describe your town, whether I live at Ludhiana, I would say I live at Ludhiana. It is situated in the mid of hills. We have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit in the evening. We have world's renowned universities in our city. We have perfect infrastructure. We have world's oldest church in our city where people around the globe visit our city and we have multifarious uh, shopping malls like that. So whether these things exist or not, as Ludhiana is not surrounded by hills or situated in mid of, mid of hills, but still I can say that because examiner is not going to check the facts. He or she is going to check whether you make the conversation relevant, interesting, spicy or not. We need to make the conversation interesting. We need to handle the topic. Otherwise, we will left with very few content and we will become confused how to cover that content. So we need to make a fabricated story. Whether you have experience like hiking or not ever, whether you go on for the you know jungle walk or not, still you can explain it well if you use the power of imagination. So that's what we do in the classes. Now, I will give you two minutes to prepare about this topic have pen and paper handy. Just write down the points and do your best. This is your class. You need to explain it. If you don't want to explain any of you, just stay there and observe the class. So you will get benefit of it. Those who would like to attempt it, I would appreciate your efforts. Describe a time when you received some positive feedback. Could be from your family, college, your tutor or your friend. When it was, that means time is uh, being asked. Yahan pe aapne time batana hai. Last year, last month, last week, yesterday. You can say any. Chahe wo feedback mili hai life mein chahe nahi. Still you can make a story. You can cook a story. Interesting story. What the feedback was related to? Kis ke related thi? Who gave you the feedback? Kisne aapko feedback di? And explain how you felt about it. Aapko kaisa laga when you got this feedback. So make sure if you got, if you got a topic which is related to the past, use all past tenses. It has been seen that students generally mix up the sentences. Present may past laga dete hai, past may future may chale jate hai. But we need to understand the topic first. What is the demand of the topic? If they asked any previous event, describe it in past. Future event ki baat hogi, describe it in the future as well. So guys, I will give you two minutes. Time starts now. You need to introduce the topic with one to two lines. You need to cover these bullet points quickly. Then you need to quickly conclude the topic. After that, you can continue your speech using some uh, connectors like additionally, moreover, furthermore, you can continue until the examiner will stop you or I will stop you here. 
So now I give you two minutes. After two minutes, you have to speak up. Thank you. All right, uh, Anu ma'am, could you please start? Or anyone sure, who's... Sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Kindly start. Um, evening, everybody. Very good evening. Yeah, please start. It was um, a year back when I was in my job and... Um, it was almost the time of um, the final uh, assessment time when um, we get our increments uh, and all. It was the time when I was thinking um, how I'll be assessed. And now uh, all of a sudden I was quite give a review from my side about what I did the entire session and how I did well whether i did well or not i was a little confused but still i held my breath and uh, i said what actually happened and that was the time. So, um in my class i had uh, taken initiatives with my kids and how i tried to make them feel better how i went all the more personally uh, to help them out, how I went out of uh, the way to uh, make them feel better uh, in their place, at their place. So this was the time when um, I revealed a bit that how one handicapped student who was there in my class uh, was taken care by me and how his grades improved a lot. And this was probably a uh, the first and the only review that was given to the management um, by me. They really found it um, worth praising. And uh, I wasn't praising at all. I was not self-praising myself. I was just revealing the facts. They knew it already, and I did not know that. And uh, they really made um, it a point to put it in the... Um, mm -hmm really created a kind of a wave for me. They helped me, uh, they motivated me. And um, I really felt that uh, I should not step back at all. And I should make sure that um, things should go on the improving side. Great, Thank perfect, you so much. you're welcome. Perfect, uh, Anu ma'am, you attempted wonderfully. Thoda sa time zyada laga isko conversation ko. So mm -hmm. what would happen in the real exam? Um, examiner might have, might would stop you in the mid of the conversation. So in that case, if you won't be able to complete all the bullet points in the given time, it would be risky, right? So still your, con your English is good, but still you won't be able to complete the task. So what the strategy you need to opt over there, you need to quickly uh, introduce a topic and cover these bullet points quickly, conclude it quickly. After that, you can extend the topic as long as you would like to. True. So yeah, the conversation- I was using loads of uh, similar connectors also. I was using lots of and. 
Yeah, yeah that's that's yeah but it, with the practice it would be fine i mean we will practice in the class mm -hmm. and it will be eradicated some you know uh, filler words would be there and uh, actually you had to think about the event and then you convert the event into the english in your mind and then you were speaking right so yeah. the and what we need to do we need to make the conversation more interesting mm -hmm. right with practice I mean, you have a good command on over English. You manage the topic perfectly. Little alignment is required. We will do that. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Yeah, it was Thank perfect. You, You're welcome. Your sentences were good and you attempt the topic wonderfully, no doubt. All right. Who's next? Ashok. Yeah. Um, yes, good evening, please. everyone. Very good evening. Yeah. <clears throat> It was the time like I was working for Tata Service Hall. It's a call center for Tata. So uh, Tata set up uh, the public telephonic booth uh, in Bihar. So what exactly happened was you we were getting a call from uh, one client and all of our representatives, uh, they got a call from the same client. And the moment I got a call, this person was very fed up. And the only issue was uh, his calls were uh, barred from the back end. So what exactly I did was, uh, because I saw uh, the feedbacks of the previous representatives, I noted it down and I promised him like I'll give him a call uh, soon after his call. So what I did was I uh, called the backend team and I told them like uh, there could be a problem at the backend and I was not aware of it. And soon after uh, my call, they checked it. And they found that there was an error at the back end and uh, they rectified it. And uh, the moment I gave uh, the call to this person, he was exactly very happy because whatever feedback was given to him from the previous representatives, it was just like they were noting it down and were not, you know, means trying to uh, rectify the error. So uh, soon after the call, uh, the back end team manager. She came to our office and, you know, appreciated me. She gave me the positive feedback because I took some extra initiative and uh, I was really appreciated by my team manager also. That was the story. Right. Great story. Wonderfully done uh, and delivered uh, Ashok. Some grammatical errors were there and... Okay. Uh, yeah, even you, you fail to mention when it was, you fail to mention the exact time last year, last month, right? So always pay attention to these red bullet points. Our focus right. is to introduce the topic and our focus is to cover these bullet points quickly so that we will save our bands, right? Because we will not get more than two minutes. He or she might, I mean, may stop you in the, I mean, after one minute, 20 seconds. So if you will describe the entire story in detail, you will definitely miss the bands, right? So right. you need to be very precise. Even you can fabricate the story, right? Okay. I mean, you can say last, last month uh, in my department, I got a wonderful feedback. And one of the client, he was so upset owing to some bad services of our department. And when I came to know about the uh, event, I immediately contacted my supervisor and the entire senior uh, officers and resolved the matter just in 10 minutes. And that person got the call immediately and the res matter got resolved and he was so happy. I was got appreciated by my team as well as my customer. That's it. You got okay. an idea? We need to be very precise. So we have described the event, we described the points. Okay. So this is, yes, this is the way. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. 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 when uh, when uh, i was studying 12th standard then uh, uh, then my junior uh, belonged to a poor family uh, she didn't uh, she did not able to uh, 
get her books but she uh, she uh, she was very into uh, intelligent that time uh, uh, that time i discussed uh, with my father her problem and uh, i bought uh, some books for her because uh, she like uh, she liked to do study but uh, their parents not uh, afford their fees as well as their books moreover uh, uh, whenever i helped her to her then she uh, her parents as well as her give me uh, gave me many blessed that time uh, i i felt over the moon because uh, uh, because she uh, because she uh, she appreciated to me and uh, also my father uh, father appreciate me because uh, uh, because that time uh, i helped some uh, someone and uh, that time uh, my senior also uh, also gave, uh, give help for uh, for her because uh, because she belong uh, she belong to a poor family and uh, if uh, uh, if uh, i gave help to poor uh, poor uh, poor student then uh, they give a lot of uh, a lot of uh, blessing mm-hmm. so that time uh, i felt uh, over the moon all right sunita good try um grammatical mistakes were there in the tenses in the structure as well but with the help of pra- are you preparing for academic or journal yes sir academic Ac- uh, academic okay 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 not an issue uh, we will definitely refine your speaking uh, little uh, tone is different like uh, we, we will definitely refine your speaking skills for sure uh, you attempted good you tried to explain the thoughts in a good manner and uh, some mistakes were there we will definitely overcome these mistakes good try sunita good thank wonderful you, thank you who's going to explain the next balveer sir yes please explain uh, uh in uh, hello everyone uh, in uh, 2015 uh, i was a store manager in some of uh, Uh, out outlet at uh, in fagwara city and uh, this is uh, that time very tough time for uh, for our outlet and my boss came in my store and uh, give me a feedback that yeah, uh, uh, you are like a hanuman bajrang wali and uh, you can do it everything and you you do it you do it uh, nothing is impossible for you just do it and these word every time uh, uh, every time uh, on my mind and when i facing any challenges just uh, uh, just uh, remind his word and i i i can do everything nothing is nothing is impossible for me then i accept uh, different different challenges in last in uh, till 5 year and uh, i got promoted on every one and half year one and two year Uh, that word every time uh, given me a positive energy that you can do everything nothing is impossible yes great sir wonderfully done and uh, it's a good uh, i can say you know uh, mantra for me as well i will remember this thing yes so uh, sir uh, one thing i would like to say you cannot use hindi word like hanuman right so you can say superman because might be the examiner will not be familiar with the word so we will not use hindi word over there okay. if you use hindi word over there you need to explain it what is hanuman right yeah. so you you can say in in hindu mythology there were there there was a superman or yeah, a super yeah. god right so then you need to extend the conversation otherwise you can say i mean you can use a super superman kind of word otherwise it was good a uh, little mistakes were there but we will refine it for sure thank you sir thank you so much uh, really insp- inspirational words you use all right uh, who's going to explain next uh, shiva shiva would you like to explain arihant sharma guys if you will perform i will give you a useful feedback that will be valued for you whether you going to join us or not it's going to be it's going to have value for you if you implement it kanish garg 
all right so guys this is the end of today's session if anyone of you having any doubt any question i'm here to answer otherwise we will wind up the class we will uh, again meet tomorrow with the listening section and speaking section so basic purpose of these two day demo is to demonstrate what quality we do have what is the method and methodology we are having uh, teaching methodology we are having we have perfect uh, feedback system we have perfect uh, material quality material we provide if there would be any query i personally would be there to resolve i always present for all the student i have a uh, good number of uh, team mates with me those who are working constantly but i personally take the pain to resolve any issue if there any arise any issue would arrive arise over there all right any question guys anu ma'am kanish arihant ashok balveer shiva sunita we have nothing question but it's a, i think a, a new for us is the first time we uh, we are using this class and And uh, do you like this or uh, not sir we, uh, many things learn from many things learn from here <laughs> okay and, thank uh, will we continue Great. with you thank you so uh, much sir thank you thanks yeah. a lot it's our see we we believe money is a by product money will come automatically if you provide services that for sure but we believe in delivering value so if we we'll yes. deliver value nothing compares right so it's our yeah. purpose to deliver value only yes. thank you so much all of you joining this class sparing your precious time if you have any question i can still answer anu ma'am do you have any question no thank you sir it was really insightful it was thank really so good much. thank you so much ma'am thank you really appreciate your time all right guys have a great evening good night either and uh, take care all of you see you tomorrow same time thank you thank welcome you, sir. take care bye uh sunita do you have a question i just read your uh, chat in the chat box unmute yourself and ask me yes sir i have a question related to the speaking speaking right how i can do better uh sunita it's all about practice see we do have speaking sessions every day right yes sir so every day you will practice with us we will slowly slowly refine your skills so if you'll practice yes. every day with us definitely your speaking will be enhanced in a month i can assure yes. you right yes so sir. join tomorrow's class and after that start classes from monday okay sir you will definitely feel the difference if you okay. invest your dedicated efforts and agar aap puri mehnat karenge to hamari taraf se kami nahi hogi that is for sure theek hai yes sir okay beta take care Thank you, sir. bye 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 okay